is the normal iPhone footage enough or do you really need HDR? That's the question we're answering today. This is gonna be a short episode, but it does have some good comparisons in it. So let's start from the beginning. So in previous episodes, we compared ProRes Log, then we compared cinematic mode with HDR video, then we tried some, some Hollywood camera movement together with the Pocket 3. So now it's a bit of a simpler situation. How does HDR compare to normal video? But wait, there's more. This time around, we're gonna also get, play a game. We're gonna play Choose the Camera. We're gonna use HDR and non-HDR footage. We're gonna put it side by side and you have to guess the camera. This is a chill episode. Never, never. You know that most of the videos on this channel are shot on very lightweight gear. We mostly use the iPhone and the Pocket 3 to shoot everything that we do. Now, let me tell you a secret. In some of those pictures, I, I haven't even used 4K when I shot them. I just took the iPhone out and photo shooting mode, long tip press on it and lock it to shoot video. This is HD and still I put it in the vlogs and it looks great. It looks okay. No one's bothered by this. So that got me thinking, why would you even shoot in HDR? So picture this, oh my God, it's so warm, it's so hot here. Picture this, you're at home in your bed trying to just browse Instagram and all of a sudden a video pops up with a very bright white. It really stands out in a negative way compared to the other videos. What you're seeing there is creators exporting everything that they do with HDR and Instagram not supporting it. That's it, you're basically at the intersection of two colossal companies trying to not play well, well with each other. Look at this, the Pocket 3 has been standing in sun direct sunlight all this time, is a bit warm, but is filming in 4K24 like a champ. So no problem, the iPhone is filming B-roll and it got really hot while doing it. This is such a great small camera. And by the way, I did it again because I shot in HD, not 4K. HDR looks absolutely disgusting on YouTube and on Instagram. HDR doesn't even look good in the preview in the gallery app. But you know where it doesn't look bad? It doesn't look bad when you edit the video and then you export it as non-HDR. Just a regular plain old video, 8-bit video. Yes, yes, shadows. Ooh, I almost melted on this one. That's how hot it is. This is 4K, non-HDR. Not like you could tell the difference or something. 